Hello and welcome back to another Computer Sluggish tutorial. Before we get started, have you subscribed to my YouTube channel yet? If not, be sure to click on the big red subscribe button on my main page. And once you have done this, don't forget to click on that bell to be the first to get notified when I upload a new video. In today's video, I am excited to say Unity 2018 is now available. In today's video, I will be showing you how to install and set up Unity 2018. They offer fantastic new features with this build, such as new scriptable render pipeline. It also has a new programming model, entity component system. The new runtime system enables you to take full advantage of multi-core processors without the programming headache. It also has new tools like ProBuilder, PolyBrush, and the new visual shader graph offers ways to design levels and create shaders without programming skills. It now has templates provide pre-selected settings based on common best practices for projects. Depending on whether they are 2D, 3D, high-end platforms such as PC slash consoles or lightweight platforms such as mobile. That way you don't have to worry about setting up the basics and you have a better out of the box experience. I'm not going to bore you and read all the new features but I will put a link in the description below to all the latest features. Right, to get Unity 2018, first you need to click on the link that's in the description below and you will end up on a page that looks like this. Once you're on this page, you now need to click on Get Unity and you now need to click on Try Personal and you need to click on this little checkbox here and we now need to go download installer for Windows. And we now need to go save file. Once the file has finished downloading, we now need to run the setup file. And you now need to go next. And I accept next again. You can go through the components and select what you want. For example, if you want to select ISO build support, Android build support, example project then you can go ahead and tick these but as this is just a tutorial i just want to install unity 2018 with no extras once you're happy with your selections you can now go ahead and press next and you now need to select download files to a temporary location and you now need to select where you would like to install unity i'm actually going to install it in my e drive once you're happy with your selection, we can now go next again. I accept next and it will begin to download Unity and install. Depending on how fast your internet connection is, depends on how long this process will take. Once Unity has finished installing, you now need to click finish and we can now open up Unity 2018. You now need to sign into Unity with your Unity ID. If you don't have one, then you can click on create one here. Once you have signed in, you now need to click on Unity Personal and go next. And we now need to click on I don't use Unity in a professional capacity and go next again. And you can now click on start using Unity. And you now need to click on new project. And we can just go create project and we need to go allow access. And there we go. It really is that easy. If you don't know how to use Unity and you would like to start off by using a template, then all you need to do is go to the top left hand corner of Unity and click on file and go down to open project. And you can now go across to learn. And there are lots of project files in here that will help you get used to Unity 2018. I hope this tutorial has helped. If it has, hit the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials.